What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my little pretty wife right here <laughs> are bringing you guys awesome, cool tips, tricks, and things that are going to hopefully help you ignite, entice, and up that relationship to a whole new, better level than what it's at right now, right? And uh, this week, we're going to talk about a really, really good topic. I think it has to do with sacrifice. And sacrifice, I think, in relationships are very common in a lot of different ways, shapes, and forms, mm -hmm. whether in the beginning of relationships, in the middle of relationships, or even at the end of relationships too as well. These things you really need to talk about with your partner, you know, if it is a sacrifice that you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, sacrifices come in a lot of different ways, shapes, and forms. There's a lot of different right? forms of sacrifice. Even the definition of a sacrifice yeah. might mean something to someone that doesn't mean the same to the next. Well, I mean, even if it's sacrifice, we talk about a lot of different things. So, you know, when you first meet your partner, let's just start there at the beginning of things. There might be sacrifices that you have to, to do to be with that person. Whether it's, mm -hmm. you know, cutting down on your gym time after work because, you know, you want to fit this dating thing in, right, with this new person. Um, this could be, or it could be that you're highly allergic to cats and, uh, that you really, really <laughs> liked this guy that had a cat living in the house and you sacrifice taking Benadryl every time to go to the house because you just really like this guy. Oh, that's nothing. Come on. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> if not, then I would, I, I mean, but I would go over there and be yeah. so tired. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so tired, but I really love seeing you. <laughs> Get out of here. She loves cats. Don't worry about it. Uh, no. Anyway, <laughs> when we talk about that's a sacrifice too, right? If, if you're doing something to like see the person you like and stuff like that, um, and it's not in your normal routine or, you know, you might be allergic to something, you know, that that's going above and beyond. And that's kind of what it is about. It's like going above and beyond for this person you like and you're trying to, you know, have a meaningful relationship with. You know, when we talk about sacrifices too, we talk about different sacrifices, let's say not hanging out with friends. Right, because you know, on your free time, when you had free time after work, after the gym, or whatever it is, you know, you'd hang out with your friends, maybe go out and have some drinks, or you know, do some other activity. Right, right, right. But at this point, you might have to give up some of that free time to go with your new, you know, relationship, whatever it is, right? And uh, and are you going to give up the free time? That, that's the other thing. Are they worth giving up the free time? Yeah. Do you really want to make the sacrifices? Yeah. Are they making sacrifices for you? Yeah. I mean, there's there's all these bullets that go with this, right? That kind of go in conjunction. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, with you know meeting them at the halfway point, and then you should be making sacrifices, and they should be making yeah. sacrifices, so that everyone is yeah on the same page. You don't want people getting you know upset with each other either because of the sacrifices that they had to endure. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of these main ones. When you're in a relationship, right? Sacrifice. So let's say you just get with somebody, you're having a really, really strong, serious relationship, and then that person gets offered a, a job opportunity. That's ten, common. Ten states over, right? That's common. And then at that point, you're not married, you don't got no kids, you know, do you guys stay together? Do you move with them? Do you have a long distance relationship? You know, and people that are really all in are probably going to be like, hey, listen, I'm going with you. Right. Right. And that sacrifice, that's uprooting, you know, getting going to the unknown, maybe not having a job secured, whatever it may be, to be with this person. Right. So that's a big sacrifice. Um, another main one that I can think of every single day that I see is with married couples. Mm -hmm. Right. Because right now, you know, the way that things are, usually one parent's staying home, one parent's working, or maybe they're both working, you know, at that point, and then one has to sacrifice what they're doing at the end of the day to go take care of the kids, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a big, big sacrifice because, you know, there's guys that have done it, girls that have done it, where the other partner has a really, really flourishing career, and at that point, they let their, their partner flourish in their career, and they stay home mm -hmm. and be the counterpart at home that's taking care of the kids, taking care of the home, all the things that surround that. And that's a big sacrifice too. That's why, you know, when people say like, you know, a stay-at-home mom's not a full-time job, you know, it, it is it is a job to a certain extent. There's a lot of different things that they're taking care of, hopefully the mm -hmm. right way, um, for their partner and for their family, you know, and, and at that point, that is a major sacrifice too as well. And, you know, when your partner does do some sort of sacrifice for you, 
you want to do some sort of recognition for that. I was just going to say that. Right? Literally, I was just going to say you need to recognize when sacrifices are being made. And that doesn't mean that you need to go and be like, everything that they do, be like, stop and say thank you, or I recognize this, or you can repay them in many ways. You know, obviously verbal communication right. always is great because then they realize that you realize that that was a sacrifice that was made, you mm -hmm. know? Um, the next thing is to do something nice for them, you mm -hmm. know, and, and, and that's you telling them like, Hey, thank you. I appreciate you making these sacrifices mm -hmm. for me, you know? Mm -hmm. So there is a, a, an abundance of ways to show somebody that you appreciate the sacrifices that are being made, but you know, that you are going to have to, there's no relationship out there where you're not going to make sacrifices. Right. There's going to be sacrifices made. Whether it's financial sacrifices, emotional sacrifices, um, you know, uh, pl th th job sacrifices, physical sacrifices in some physical cases. some some of them, yeah, yeah hundred percent. So mm -hmm. you know, it's important. It's important. Yeah. So I mean, it, it's it, it goes across the board. I mean, like she said, this could hit a number of different scenarios out there. What you're really sacrificing and compromises. Those are sacrifices to a degree too, as well. Mm -hmm. You know, we say it's a compromise, but you're really sacrificing what you wanted for the other person to be happy too as well. Right. Um, and that, that's a big one. Even when people live nowadays, like some people like, uh, I want to live in Florida and that's all I want to live in. And that person's like, well, I want to live in Colorado, but I'll, I'll sacrifice living here for you. Right, right, right. Because right. I know it makes you happy and all these good things. But maybe you guys can visit Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. Like often, you yeah. know, like that's what I'm saying is the compromise comes with the sacrifice, yeah. you know, and the, you that's the whole point of this particular episode is to make sure that you guys recognize it, that you guys appreciate it appreciate yeah. because listen, you know, people can make sacrifices all day. And I tell and one thing I will tell you is if you are continually making sacrifices and the other party, let's say, is not making as many sacrifices and not showing their appreciation that's eventually going to surface and right. it will become a problem right the resentment will come up yes um you know at that point they're like well you don't care about me and i did all this and mm -hmm. you just don't care and like some people really don't like relationships can go two ways three ways really <laughs> the, the 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 male partner is more dominant and the female partner falls behind the field female apartment's more dominant and the male partner falls behind or both of them are at the exact same level working together and that's where they really want to be you don't want just one having leverage the whole time. That's just no good. Mm -hmm. Somebody's always chasing at that point. You guys should be working together and as walking together side by side as a team. That's right. They're a team. Um, and you guys will have better respect for each other too as well when you do things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, it's more appreciative across the board. The person's going to be like, listen, I know you're here with me. I appreciate you doing this. And it just, it, it bond, the bond it, it creates is even better, right? Mm -hmm. This brings you close to that person. Um, you know, even like some of the sacrifices I heard, like, so... Uh, one person got hurt, right? And this chick sacrificed her day to come over and help him stand so he could pee because he just had surgery and couldn't stand on his own legs. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's sacrifice, right? If you're, if you're, you're cleaning up after somebody or even you have somebody that has a disability as, as your partner. Mm -hmm. Let's say, you know, everything was fine. They got in a real bad car accident. Now they can't walk or can't move any limbs or whatever. Hey, I was in a bad car accident and John had to shave my legs, wash my hair. I mean, <laughs> I can't say I enjoyed this because I'm like, wow, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> but he did it for me, you know? And I mean, anytime he had his surgery, I would do the same thing for him. You know, I'd run up and down the stairs 500 times, whatever he needed, I was there for him, beck and call. But that's the point is to be there for each other and to be a team and work together as a team. You know, it's never, it shouldn't be one way or the other, yeah. you know, sacrifices happen every day. Yeah. Believe it or not, I want you to think about it. Think about what your partner has sacrificed for you this week. Mm -hmm. And then why don't you take two seconds and go say thank you. Or if they're sitting right next to you right now, turn to them and say, hey, thank you. Like for instance, I'm gonna I'm gonna give John a thank you, right? So John, <laughs> Good, John, you. John, very much so. He sacrifices his workouts, and a workout for John is something that he needs to be able to really be able to stay like mentally and emotionally stable. That's like his outlet. Everybody has an outlet, right? And I understand that. However, John and I work together, and if he ever sees that I'm drowning or like that I'm busy or I might need help with something, he'll sacrifice that time that he could have worked out and come and ask me like, hey, what is it that you need? Like, I'll help you out, you know? And then he doesn't get his workout in. But, 
you know, he helped me. So, you know, I don't always tell him thank you because I'm always so busy, but I'm telling him thank you now and that I do realize and I do recognize it and that it is appreciated more than he can possibody understand. Yeah, so, so it's things like that, though, you yeah. know? So little, things. little things like that, little sacrifices like that it's go a, a long, sacrifice. long way yeah. in the bigger yeah. picture. Yeah. And even at the end of relationships, you know, if you're saying, well, what are you going to sacrifice at the end of the relationship? There's a lot of different things that people sacrifice in different relationships. So let's say, uh, you know, there's a relationship between two people and, and let's what are say, you splitting up? <laughs> let's say the guy or the girl wants to have a child. Yep. But the other person doesn't want to have a child or yep. is infertile. Yep. At that point, you know, the sacrifice is, listen, this person wants this. I'm not going to be able to do this. And at that point, you exit out. You say, listen, I'm not going to be the best thing for you. It's a sacrifice on your part because you really want to be with them. But you know in the big picture, this is what they want. And you're not going to be able to help out in that area or don't want to help out in that area. Mm -hmm. So this is a big sacrifice there too as well. Even with kids. Kids are another big one. When parents have kids and let's say they divorce... The fa sacrifice is, you know, from a male standpoint, if the female gets the child, which in most cases that happens, mm -hmm. they sacrifice the time with their child in that time period. And that's a big sacrifice. Yeah, that some. is a big one. Some, yeah. some people don't realize it or some, some parents don't take it as serious or don't care as much. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of parents out there that really do care. And they want to spend that quality time with their kid. And they want to be there for their kid. But they have to sacrifice things because it didn't work out with the partner. Yeah. Um, and this is an ultimate sacrifice for That's people. been a popular one in 2022 now. Right. You know, back in the day when I was growing up, back in the 80s, we don't time stamp my age either. But, you know, all the parents stay together. You know, it was, it was, it was the opposite. You know, it was always that, you know, if, if you were, if, if you had came from a broken home or your parents were divorced, you were the outsider. Mm -hmm. And now it's the other way around. Right. You know, like if your parents are still married for 10 plus years, they're like, what, what do you mean? It's cause you guys aren't trying. You know, it's a lot of people are just don't, they give up. It's true. They give up, you know, don't give up. I mean, like, if you oh, really man, love them. I get two Christmases, you only get one. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I got four Christmases. Yeah. I have my mom, my stepmom, yeah. my other stepmom. Yeah. I got my dad. I got my other stepdad. <laughs> like, all right now. I mean, that's a lot of presents to rack up. So, so good guys, for you. <laughs> think about the sacrifice that you've done for your relationship or maybe your partner's done for your relationship and give that gratitude and recognition to your partner. I promise it'll bring you guys even closer together. All right, guys. That's it for our Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're here every Sunday at 11 a.m. here on ABC. And don't forget, if you missed it live, DVR it or go over to Titan Medical Center on YouTube. Hit the subscribe and all notification bell so you can see all the Cupid's Corners with me and this little beautiful wife of mine, Cherise. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.